Sabah everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the most rugged, durable laptop on the market today. Also, it happens to be a very modular laptop. This is the Toughbook 40 from Panasonic, and this is actually a brand new edition for 2022. It features not only some of the new technologies that we've seen as far as processing power, internal storage, RAM configurations, and so on, but we're also talking about a very ruggedized shell and of course modularity to be able to customize it to whichever configuration you want. If you want a CD-ROM drive, you're going to be able to get it. If you want VGA ports, you can get it. If you want a 4K HDMI port, Port, you guessed it, you can get it. This is TK and this is the Panasonic Toughbook 40. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this is the actual laptop itself. This is the Toughbook 40 2022 edition. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of things that we can talk about here, specifically modularity and, tough, and information that we can do here. First and foremost, this laptop is just like any other laptop that you've ever used before. There's a keyboard, a display, there's a mouse cursor here, present all the way on the bottom. And of course we have modularity, uh, basically galore. Uh, the overall configuration that I have here is the i5 model. There is an i7 model as well. It is loaded with Windows 11, 11 Pro specifically. As far as the CPU, as you can notice right there, I have the IRX uh, Graphics Xe draft, uh, graphics in here, and it is supported with the i5 uh, V-Core processor. Now, the specifically why V-Core? It's because of the lifespan and of course support. These laptops are intended to be deployed and used for quite a long time, so they're not supposed to be replenished every year or two. They literally are supposed to go to basically four to five years at a time. And the V-Core series from Intel it definitely has a longer support and uh, Panasonic and Intel have an, a collaboration where they're able to basically support them even with replacement parts for a much longer time. So this is the configuration system that I have here is the 11th gen i5 uh, processor here as I mentioned to you guys 2.6 gigahertz to 2.61 16 gigs of RAM uh, basically replaceable obviously you can expand the memory there's a port at the bottom of the laptop that you're able to do so. Uh, system information as you can imagine Windows 11 Pro this is going to be the one that's preloaded uh, there are going to be some models that they mentioned that could actually come out with Windows Windows 10. Uh, the overall desktop is pretty straightforward, normal PC, you have access to your application. Now there is a pen input that's included in here and this one's actually residing directly in the handle of your laptop. So you're able to basically take it out and use it exactly when you want. Um, out of the box you have access to different applications. I did download a DVD player but overall we have obviously a trial version of Microsoft Office and we also have some customizable applications that are installed directly from Panasonic to be able to customize the additional buttons that we have in here and we'll get a chance to check them out. So. Camera, asset tag entry, 2D barcode scanner, uh, night mode, and of course a blacklist, key, a backlit keyboard, and of course software uh, support file copy. Uh, settings configuration, you can go ahead and enable power on, uh, the ability of turning on touch, keyboard configuration, and of course uh, configuration for the Wi-Fi. It is also 4G LTE as well as 5G configurable out of the when you when it's purchased. Uh, by default, there is a SIM tray that's present on the back of the laptop that allows us to actually do that. There's actually ports all around the laptop that provide us the ability of actually getting customizations down to the uh, module level. And what we're talking about essentially is things like this. This one is an actually a card reader that we're able to use. I'll give you a second to focus. So we're able to replace this with the side, the secondary battery that we have on the right side of the laptop. Replace the DVD or ROM drive with actually an optical scanner that we're also able to put on the side. And on the front part next to the mouse pad, there's actually even the ability of turning on to a a contactless payment reader, almost like an NFC reader present on the actual laptop. Now, when we're talking about configuration and what we have in here, we have this is the default keyboard that we have come, uh, that comes with the actual laptop. We have configurable buttons on the P1 through P4, a power button that's present right there at the top. And of course, we have the standard functional keyboard buttons that we have in there. On the right side, that's the actual configuration uh, that we're able to replace here. There's four screws on the actual plate and we're able to replace it. By default, it comes with a blank plate. You're able to replace it. And now I have a contactless uh, reader here that I can actually just tap the card on it and it'll read. Uh, a lot of things in here are easily replaced. And one thing I will mention one more time is the ingenious placement of the, S the pen holder that's present directly in the handle. And of course, we're able to bring that down and put it in straight up like that. Now, the laptop has many ports. There's the expansion base slash secondary battery. We also have a, a nice little SSD port here. You're able to replace your SSD drive easily. There's additional ports in here that are present. The power connector here on the front. On the back, we have also a replaceable port, but this is where you'll be able to put in your SIM card, additional USB, and of course, HDMI output. Uh, on the right side, we have also another expansion port that we're also able to open up. 
You have obviously VGA accent or serial port if you need to access that. Of course, an additional HDMI capability here, and it does support up to 4K HDMI uh, output directly out of the actual uh, built-in ports here. On the right side, we have the large expansion bay here. This is where you're able to put in your CD-ROM drive, DVD-ROM, Blu-ray if you want to. All of those are basically purchased separately. And of course, we're also able to put in that optical reader that I showed you at the beginning. And of course, this is the primary battery slot. This is not swappable with anything else other than a battery. So we're able to run two batteries directly at the same time, which gives us the ability of enjoying a long battery life up to 18 hours. And of course, uh, you're able to charge them directly within the housing when you plug it in directly. Now on the bottom, we actually have the new connector or the new pin connector for the docking station. It has been revamped in, from the earlier generations that we've seen. So this is gonna be different for the car ones as well as the office ones. Uh, and of course we have the port opening here at the bottom to be able to replace the memory. Now, out of the, the, the uh, retail version will have one uh, stick of 16 gigabytes of RAM. Currently it has two sticks of, uh, of eight uh, but you're able to basically get it in the configuration when it's available publicly uh, with one stick and then you can add an additional one to get the 32 or of course you can just upgrade to even additional RAM if you'd like to. But out of the box comes with 16 gigs of internal storage and of course replaceable SSD drive on the side. Overall out of the box this entire system as much as it feels like it's going to be super heavy is about 7.4 pounds so it's not exactly the lightest laptop but definitely something that you can have to kind of configure and of course the more module we add the more possibility of increasing that weight. But for me out of the box this comes with a standard plate this is not a any kind of special module you can replace it put in the card reader you can add additional options uh, and they've said they basically have uh, a, almost a, a limitless amount of a configuration that you're able to do to this system what I really like about it though is it's that nice sleek design the new redesign option here looks really really nice we still have the nice little X tough book the Panasonic logo everything looks really really nice I also like the fact that they put the pen directly in here so we're able to access it very easily but also not lose it uh, we have a nice indicator here for battery one battery two let's give it a second you can also see how things are going on overall and of course the docking mechanism just looks really really nice for me this configuration as i mentioned is the i5 model there is an i7 model uh, but for the most part you're also able to configure it with either 4g or with 5g out of the box it does support at&t uh, as well as verizon for their technologies as far as connecting in uh, last but not least it is mil uh, mil standard 810h for uh, for basically ruggediz ruggedization IP68 and of course mil standard, uh, mil standard as well 461G. Um, so overall a lot of protection here and also the ability of you know actually sustaining some uh, decent drops. For me modularity on a laptop is something that we typically don't hear about right. Laptops are typically meant to be basically configurable with two things right. You can change the memory you can probably change the storage and that's about as much as you can do on a laptop. If you're lucky that's pretty much all you can do. But the fact that we can actually add an added DVD-ROM and add a Blu-ray um, add a serial port additional USB C ports, uh, uh, other card readers, or you know, basically NFC readers, or even optical scanners, and all of that is really, really nice. One of the biggest things that they also talked about here is the fact that the camera on the front facing part of the display is actually very nicely customized. They actually have a five megapixel camera that is able to providing us up to 1440p video recorded in four by three aspect ratio. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Now, when it comes down to modularity, one of the things we cannot change right now is the camera. We have a five megapixel camera that's present on the front. We can hide it. There's a door on it, of course, that we're able to turn it off if we want to not use it, obviously, for security purposes. But one of the other things that we can do here is we can shoot 1440p with a four by three aspect ratio. So 1440p at 30 frames per second or 1080p at a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Definitely very nice. We have a really good microphone array that gives us the ability of getting crystal clear audio as you can hear me right now. The speakers that we have in here can go all the way up to 92 decibels. There's a stereo pair that gives us really good audio. So really nice, meant to be indoors, outdoors, very rugged. Uh, one of the other things that I really enjoyed about this, it, not necessarily uh, intentionally, but I was able to basically drop it about the four feet and it, there was not even a flinch. The, the laptop is really meant to be a rugged laptop. It's meant to take a, a beating and keep on kicking, kind of the best way to say it. Um, overall, the battery life that we get here, battery life that we get in here is very decent. There's a dual battery configuration. As I'm showing you guys right now, it's very nice and very easy to use. Touch control, pen input, um, customizable ports, customizable uh, modular capabilities here, and you can switch them. Uh, and of course, the batteries are hot swappable as long as one battery is connected and it is charged. And you're of course able to get a very nice long battery life if you're you know without access to an actual port. Uh, docking stations for cars as well as the house is also something that you can use and there's a plane flying right above me so hopefully you can still hear me very clearly on the toughbook 40.
And this is the camera module that I mentioned to you guys. You could definitely close it here for security purposes, not have to worry about it. And of course, you have access to the, the touch sensitivity here. The display is a touch sensitive display. You don't have to use the pen, but if you do want to, it works great. And of course, we have a touchpad and mouse keyboard and everything works just as well. The speakers on this are also very, very nice. We have a very nice loud dual speakers that are present here on both the right and left side. Let's go and do a quick sample of our favorite song, Alex Crendo Jumbo by NCS Release in the backyard. Jack it up. So as you heard there, the audio sounds very nice. The overall experience on this is definitely intended to be used outdoors. The display is really nice and gets really bright. And as you're seeing right here with the clip that I'm showing you, you can definitely see here with direct sunlight reflecting from the sun on the display, I could still see the Alex Crindo video in the background. So this is definitely very nice. Uh, the overall experience with the speakers, it's intended to be used indoors and outdoors. So if you case there's some noise around you, it's still gonna sound really nice and you should be able to still hear it. The camera that we get in here, of course, it gives us the ability of shooting 1440p at a four by three aspect ratio or 1080p at 16 by nine aspect ratio. So you get that little bit of flexibility. But none of that comes even close to the fact of how many modules, how many configurations can you do with a system like this? Now, some of these modules and some of these configurations need to be done at the time of order. Some of them like basically the 4G or the 5G module configuration, that has to be done at the time of order. But if you're talking about basically swapping a, an optical drive for a DVD to a Blu-ray or getting a basically optical reader, a contactless card uh, reader, or even a secondary battery, changing the ports on the back, you want serial connection, you want more HDMI ports. There's a lot of different options and everything is easily um, replaceable. Now, some of them do have an additional uh, a panel of security where you do need to screw and basically a, a protection screw there so it's not easily removed but for the most part everything that we saw on the sides from the front to the back is easily removed and replaceable the primary batteries though is not something that you can change although the secondary one you can swap that for something else like basically you know an inserted card reader that you can put in here or you can actually have the secondary battery and as I'm showing you guys there with the dual battery that we had at about 84, 85%, we still had about 11 hours or so battery life left. So definitely long battery life, very nice format, 16 by nine aspect with, uh, ratio display, touch sensitive, well, touch display, pen input, a whole bunch of different things that we can get there. Uh, but at the end of the day, who is this laptop made for? I'll say this. The Toughbook series for me, or at least from what I understand, is basically been always targeted to a business, a company like, uh, you know, first responders, police officers, hospitals, um, and even companies like In-N-Out, surprisingly, do use the Toughbook series for their checkout systems as well as their, uh, basically their kiosk solutions because they are, they're really rugged. They're really meant to be indoors, outdoors. Uh, they can handle uh, very high temperatures, very low temperatures. They can even handle, uh, obviously, you know, drop resistance. God forbid you drop the laptop. It's definitely meant to take a beating and keep on kicking. Uh, so at the end of the day, I'm first and foremost, I wanna say thank you very much to Panasonic for allowing me to check out the Toughbook 40. And at the end of the day, what I would probably say is this is the best rugged laptop that is also very modular in 2022, hands down. This is TK. Thank you very much to Panasonic for allowing me to check out the Toughbook 40 and of course, share with you guys my thoughts. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.